set the standards, what about you? My name is Phyllis. I'm currently working for the Fast Retailing Management and Innovation Centre. Before this, I worked as a store manager and an area manager, and then I got posted to this position. I transitioned from area manager to the current position that I'm in, mainly due to two reasons. The first reason is that my bosses saw the strength in me in terms of staff development, and the second reason was that our company wanted to localise the leaders a bit more, so uh, this was an important move for me as a local member. My job, there are basically two parts to it. First of it is training and development, so we hold like classroom training sessions and trainings in the stores. The second part of it is a bit more strategic, so we do the strategic planning for the operations and talent development, as well as manpower allocation. For the training, we take care of all levels, starting from the ground staff all the way to the store managers and area managers. For our classroom training, it's a bit more on the theory side, so uh, we will invite the relevant members to come in for a classroom session where they will be taught on the theory part. The second part of the training is more on the job, so what will happen is that the store managers will train the staff, but at the same time, we will visit the stores to follow up on the training that we give them in the classroom. Previously, uh, when I went through the training, it was a lot of knowledge and it was very classroom, so I couldn't really see the link between the classroom and then what I had to do in the store. So after joining this department, what I have been trying to do is to make our training a bit more on the job and has a direct linkages to what is happening in the store. So based on that, we have been revising the training contents and also the way that we have been carrying out the training. After that, we are also collecting the feedback from the members who join the training so that we can constantly improve on it. From the start, some of the trainees may not have any career ambition and they may not know what they enjoy and what they want to do in life. But over the different sessions, what I can see the growth in them is that they are more certain of the future that they want to build for themselves and they work hard towards it. The younger generation people are very inquisitive and we always need to explain to them the background and the purpose behind why we are doing certain things. They have very good suggestions and they think very well. So it is important for us to value their suggestions and their thoughts. I get encouraged when I see that the people that I've met a few years ago in a different position currently and how they have grown not only in their career but also in their personal lives. What keeps me motivated every day is the ability to change the lives of our employees and also to shape the future of our company.